Hello, welcome back. Continue on with more anime in anime. Ah, ah, ah. I'm sorry. Uh, dailies and stuff. Uh, so there's a website that you gotta go to. Um, the Holo Yeb, Holo Yep, Ho Yo Lab, daily check in. Um, so yeah. They're doing that thing. Um, if you play Genshin or have played Genshin, pretty much the same, I guess. Gotta hit all the little things to get the little things to go away. Okay. Alright. So, we're gonna continue on. You're awake. I had Marge and Dan Hung stay by the Express to keep an eye on things. It's almost time. She should be arriving any moment now. I've only been gone, what, a few months? And the space station is already in this state? Welcome back, Herda. This is the true master of the space station. Genius Society number 83, Herda. At least give me a proper introduction. Genius Society number 83? Of all my outstanding achievements, that's what you want to mention? Ah, oh, so she's a robot. I was going to say puppet, just by the way the legs look. But yeah, it's okay. She's, she's a robot. She's hundreds of years old. That's okay. And my character's still mute. What you're seeing here is one of my puppets. Called I'm it. using her to talk to you. So, this little twerp has the Stellaron now? Huh. Hmm. I'll have to take a good look. Hmm. Truly amazing! I built a whole space station just to contain this unactivated Stellaron and keep the blue from disaster. Yet someone was able to achieve that with this little twerp's body? How did they do it? Moreover, the Stellaron is still very stable in her body. You're right. This little one's body truly is strange. Uh, I think I need an adult. What are they going to do to my little body? Um, don't call me little one. <laughs> Uh, my name is whatever. Unless you two discuss this right in front of me. Yeah, actually. Uh, you can leave. I'm discussing science with... what? What's her face? Himako? Wow. Science exists in objectivity. There's nothing to be secretive about. But as far as you're concerned, I think it would be better for you to listen in. After all, I have a lot of plans ahead involving you. Speaking of which, uh, Himako? Can I bring her in for some research? That's not up to me to decide. You can ask her yourself. What's your price? Oh no. Wow. So, you're gonna talk to me like a piece of shit, and then you're gonna talk down to me and make me feel like a fucking idiot. Um, no. This little twerp really has a temper. Don't worry, I won't hurt a hair on your head. With my skills, even surgery would be painless. Fuck off. Aren't you worried about that bomb inside of you? No. Let me help you while I'm still interested. Once I'm not, I won't do any studies, even if you beg me. I'm very interested now. So there's almost nothing I won't accommodate. A Stellaron in your body? How interesting is that? Be grateful that I'm offering to help you out. This is a service even the IPC can't buy. You understand now? Herda wants you to stay in her space station. Well, I'm going to have to modify your wording here. This little twerp can only stay temporarily until the research is done. Or maybe I'll lose interest halfway through and they can just beat it. And after that? <laughs> Not my problem. I don't like this one. You also have another option. The Astral Express. If you want, you can leave with us. The Express has its fair share of experiences with Stellarons. 
The thing you're worried about and the answers we're looking for are one and the same. Besides, we can come back any time to let her to conduct her research. She's absolutely fascinated now. Hmm. Well, works for me. Keeps this subject fresh, too. And that way, I won't need to keep worrying about this little twerp all the time. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, I don't like you at all. You are really the most self-centered person I've ever met. Yeah, absolutely. I want to say that. I wonder if that puts me into some sort of bad choice thing. Oh, you should meet the others of the Genius Society. Some of them will trick you into thanking them after they milk you dry. At least I have my honesty going for me. Mm -hmm. Just remember to come back often. Make an appointment in advance with Asta or Arlen so I can make time to study you. There's no need to rush into this, Herda. Asta's in the master control zone. Let's let her have a talk with Asta first and decide for herself. I'll be waiting for you on the platform. It's no hurry if you still have things to do or someone to see. Come find me when you've made your decision. Huh. But since this account is disabled, business contact Asta. Come to my office quickly, I am waiting. But you're right next to me. Currently unavailable and I won't be contacting you. Oh, yeah, you can get fucked. Himiko has left the team. Oh, there goes my iron cannon. Alright, that means I've got to have... Oh, yeah, so... There's a welcome pack and something because, um... They had, like, 20 million, um, free downloads or some shit. So, you got a whole heap of free shit. So, I got this one. Asta was already there. But, um... I think you just get this one. So, I don't know, we'll have a look. We'll play with it later. Alright, so... Oh, I have to go this way, don't I? Alright. These are those pictures we saw before. What was that? Switch. What does that do? Or is that because I had... Ah. Okay. Thought I found something. Zendar One Kulbara. Genius Society Member One. I hung up his portrait purely out of respect. Without him, there would be no Genius Society today. Frankly, I don't know what he has achieved. None of his books and inventions have survived. Uh, but there's got to be a place for the founder of the society, right? Polka Kakamund, member four of the Genius Society. A woman full of mystery. Many people in the society died by her hand. I haven't heard anything about her for many years, but I firmly believe she is still alive. Hey, Lord of Silence, if you're here, if you're listening, I'm member 83, Herda, and I want to meet you. I believe you and I will have a lot to talk about. I wonder if that turns out to be that chick from the start. I want to call her Kefka, but that's not what it is, is it? This is Aiden, member 22 of the Genius Society, the most selfless and the strangest one. He spent his whole life helping others. Personally, I don't see the point. But the society is famous thanks to him. The Inter-Astral Peace Corporation has been trying to find a replacement ever since his death. They searched for many Amber Eras, but no genius was willing to lower their head to the IPC. <laughs> Until they found me. Mm-hmm. Oh, 
Elias Salas, such a lovely old fellow. He is member 56 of the Genius Society, one of the only two publicly elected ministers in the society's history. Be grateful to him. He created the Synthesia Beacons and Overrange Remote Sensing, the cornerstones of modern cosmic communication. However, he did not disclose his inventions to the public, so I hereby certify that the rights of these two technologies belong to the Intelligentsia Guild. To be honest, I'm not a big fan of the Guild, but it is impressive that they managed to reproduce Elias Salas' inventions. Member 76 of the Genius Society, Skrulum. I've known him for a long time. He's a really good man. A gentleman with an exceptional mechanical mind. I've learned a lot from him. Recently, I have been working with him and Ron May on a project. I hope this project can help us get closer to the greatest mystery of the universe. Hmm. This is Madame Herda, or better known as Member 83 of the Genius Society. In her childhood, she solved the solitary waves theory and the spark model hypotheses. In her adolescence, she found the Sigma Baryon's conversion method. In middle age, she proposed the Herda sequence and published a paper on de-aging. In her senior years, she managed to reverse her own age via de-aging and went on to solve the mystery of the imaginary leakage phenomenon and even captured and sealed a Stellaron. Madame Herda has saved the planet she was on from destruction 19 times and has met the eons twice. This space station is her property. Oh, very up as those, aren't we? Oh. What is this? Index. Index not available. What is this? Nothing. All right. Okay. Fucking bitchy bitch. Let's hey, go. There you are. I haven't moved. What you're seeing is one of my remote controlled puppets. They're all over the station. I just connect to one wherever I am needed. Yeah, of course. Enough chit chat. I am working on a big project with a few colleagues. If we succeed, it will answer the ultimate question that's been puzzling us for thousands of amber eras. The truth about eons. Eons. Think about it. What mystical existences. Some eons used to be ordinary humans like you and me, but somehow they managed to obtain power beyond our imagination. They are mysterious, powerful, silent, and terrifying. It's hard to explain all the mysteries surrounding them. How were they created? Why were they created? What were they created for? Have you ever thought about these questions? No. Well, I know what Aeons are. Um, I summon them all the time. Um, there's a lady called Yuna that could do that. And um, yeah, and even before that, I could summon them all myself as well. I particularly like Cacta. He's really cool. He'd do, what, 10,000 damage, even though the damage cap was 9,999. He did that. 10,000 needles? Yeah. 42 what? Uh, are you even listening to me? We want to solve the mystery behind the eons. Right now, I want you to participate in this project. It'll take the eons. The four geniuses of the society wrote a program together. You see the big machine in the office? That machine contains a universe. Just like the universe we live in, but it's more streamlined and customized. I call it the metaverse. Oh no. Oh no. Oh wow, seriously, don't ride that hype train. <laughs> it's self aware. Oh really? That's what my partner said as well. Fine, I am a team player. Then let's call it the simulated universe. Now go and experience it for yourself. I will guide you in the simulated universe to make sure nothing happens to you. I'll even give you a substantial reward. Simulated universe. First closed beta. Uh. 
No, they should not have called it a metaverse. Uh, tap anywhere on the screen. Why? I'm not tapping, I'm clicking. Still in the office. Okay. Alpha test server. Features not fully available. Try to walk around. Any collectibles? We've been here before. Alright, here we go. It's too late to repent. Auto battle. Oh, really? Oh, is it dumb auto battle though? It looks like it is. Yeah. It looks like it's dumb auto battle, which is kind of good. What is this? There is a murmur in the amber sky. It's dusk. You look up and find countless copper ore, amber, and opal falling from the sky. This is wondrous mineral rain. This is a wondrous mineral rain. In the steam, the colossal things stretch the spine from mantle with a sledgehammer gripped in their broad palm. You open your eyes and realize that this is actually Quilpoth? No. I don't know how to pronounce that. The Aeon of, or Ion, or Eon of Preservation. So I'm going to role playing. There is a huge roar around them. This is a warning for you. Then they disappear before your eyes. Calculations are correct. The Aeon of Preservation has really appeared. The sun becomes sounded and she let out an ambiguous giggle. The Aeon of Trailblaze, Akavi, Akavili's revival has attracted an old friend. I have no fucking idea what is going on. They run away. Simulated. Simulated ends. Ignore us just like real ones. Cool. What do you want to know? With surveillance, anecdotes, love stories, origins, just things, stuff. I'll cover you for this test. See, I use my clearance to enhance your blessings. Now you can go have some fun. Don't ask why, just thank me. Go, pick one. When a character inflicts weakness break on target, the character gains a shield. The character receives shield at the end of a turn. Upon entering battle, all characters gain a shield. Oh, okay. This is like... Yeah, okay. Hmm. Characters receive a shield at the end of the turn. Sounds a bit better. That's why it's blue and has two stars. Blessings. Okay. Oh, I think I understand. These are like those gacha game... Like, um... Uh, the towers and shit. Make sure we get a good start. Clemency? Never heard of it. Alright, we he's not going to be doing much to any of them. My turn. They're not weak to thingy at all. Let's go. Alright, do a blast. Sweet. You can't stun! You have the worst luck running in watch this. Let's save Let's the... make it quick. Save the old piece. Try that again. The time is now. Sixteen damage. Okay. <laughs> Come, I guess, that much. Picked blessing that turns shields into damage and hurry onward. When a character receives a shield, there is a small chance of removing a debuff. Shielded characters receive 
reduce damage. After attacking enemies, the attacking character deals quake damage based on the current total shield effect on the ally team. Oh yeah. Three stars. Maybe we were supposed to take that. That's what I'm going to believe. Battle one out of three. It's too late to repent. Okay. All right. So. My turn. Speed up the process. Now you're going to fire three times in a row. Okay. All right. Well, that was weak to stuff. Take this. Regardless, he's not going to do much damage, so we'll burn one of these. You have the worst luck running in. Sweet. Three. All right. Um. No weakness. My turn. Uh, no weakness again. Uh, I might burn this. Check out this awesome move. <laughs> Get him slain or frozen. You have the worst luck running into me. Okay, they did nothing. That's all right. <laughs> um, these are all weak to this stuff, so we'll do a blast. <laughs> That's good. You can't run. Energy gradient. Hmm, okay. We go to the big damage. Sweet. All right. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. All right. We'll do. I'll see on this. Life and death. Revealed in an instant, this sanctuary is but a vision! Yeah, he really doesn't do much damage, does he? He's kind of crap. My turn. Uh, yep, hit that one. Go straight into here to an ulti. Rules are made to be broken. Should have targeted the middle. One. Just a scratch. Try that again. All right, I'm not gonna waste that. There we go. Sweet. It's too late to repent. Let's go. Batter up. Maybe should have done a blast on that one. Yep, wait. Come on. Come on, what? Who? Uh, that we already got. Does it stack? Crack damage increases and is blasted to all enemies. When character receives the shield, increase the max damage that can be absorbed by the shield. Um, I might go the shield. Darn it. Well, do I get all three? Because I did three. Oh, I did. Okay. Cool. Temporarily revoked your activity permissions. Ah, oh, I apologize. That's too bad. Something I confess. I'm a little too eager for success. So I won't interfere with the system again. Just play as you like. Whatever appearance was probably just coincident. That's it. Anyway, I'm sorry. Okay. Whatever you reckon. Oh, centaur. Huh. 
Huh, crush now or crush later? It's around. Can we bypass him? No, we have to kill him. Alright, well, there's nothing else around here. Let's come up behind him. Back attack. Move carefully. Alright, you're going to just scratch his back for a while. The Bang. truth of life and death revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision. You have the worst luck running into me. None of these are affected by cold at all, so we're just gonna go straight to the middle. I'll try hard sometimes. Freeze Check out place. this awesome move. Let's make it quick. Alright, and you're weak to everything. We got the middle selected, so we should be able to get all of them. Yep. Take this! Alright, so they'll be coming back now. Try that again! You're annoying! Alright, so we got a target. So, okay, I can still put a defense on, I keep forgetting her name, March, that's right, put a defense on March because she's been targeted. With me out here, how can we lose? Let's go. Alright, um, let's get rid of some of these guys. How? Straight Inside. up getting bullied. I have no interest in stoking conflict. Stick with this the guy that chance. can do that. All right. So the truth of life again? and death revealed in an in this sanctuary is but a vision. Let's make it quick. That wasn't much damage, dude. Alright, we'll do single target and then we'll do an ulti. Rules are made to be broken. Single target 75. Ulti. 217. That's an extra 100. He really does not like her at all. Try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. <laughs> Wait. Six damage. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. That's a dragon. We're edgy now. The fight is over and you wait in place, but nothing happens. Go on. What should I do? Go on. A uh, long silence followed by a deep sigh. I was expecting him to appear, never mind. I'll switch off the simulated universe, then it'll take a second and you won't feel a thing. Let's check back into reality. Simulated universe does nothing. Didn't you say it'll only take a second? They came. Oh, really? Uh, you heard a stun words. No, not them. It's another Aeon. It's... Her voice suddenly drifts off. You have a strange feeling about this, as if Herda's words solidified the whole... ba da 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 ba da ba da ba da ba da Oh, look at you. You see a blurry figure made of mirror fragments and their facial features are repeatedly refracted by the prism to form a mystery. Countless memories spring up before your eyes. Uh, you see Kafka. It is Kafka. I thought it was Kafka. 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 Kafka is Final Fantasy. Uh, her body stretched to Ooh, her body is stretched and deformed and rubbed together. Ooh, with an umbrella in her hand, turning into water, droplets falling at your feet. You find yourself become, you find yourself become a weeping, ad, adliven, adluven, something baby with an uncut umbilical cord. What the fuck? 
You remember that there is a golden scar on your body. Yeah, that's right. And golden blood flowing from a dying planet. You find yourself dark-skinned. That's racist. And wearing a robe in the wastelands. You find that you are swift shadow wedgy across the. You are a swift shadow across the abyss, reaching out to catch a shooting star. What kind of fucking drugs were these guys on? They need to share. Then the voice suddenly came. The robe flutters and wraps around your dark skin. That's racist. You laugh at. You laugh at exploration. The silk threads spin, overlap, and weave into oceanic words. I am in oceanic, because I'm in Australia. These, the, this is this is scary now. Every word they say is connected to each other like a whisper. So a sentence. Before you could say anything, they suddenly disappear. Edge lords. <laughs> Wait, let's talk about Kefka. Fuck yeah. We did it. Yells the excitement. That was the Fuli, not the Fatui. Not to not not to be not to be not to be confusing the Fatui. This is the Fuli. They thought you were a fallen Akavili, so they actively start a conversation with you. Uh, Fuli is the valuable. Fuli is valuable for our research because they have memories of all beings and know almost as much about everything as Noah does. The Aeon of what are these words, man? Come on out. I want to upgrade the simulated universe. You need to stay in there even longer in the future. You said you wouldn't interfere anymore. It feels like a hook pulled at your belly button and your entire body tumbled into a circle. When you open your eyes, you're already back in Herta's office. Your first experience of the simulated universe has ended. This is a free-to-play game. Voice acting stopped. Success. I have to tell the news to Stephen right away. I'm not interested. Uh, don't just stand there. Go in again for a walk and see if you can get a few more words out of them or something. You should show me some respect. Damn straight. Oh, you're right. I got excited. Sorry, I do respect you. If you don't mind, could you please go in for another test? I've upgraded the, upgraded the simulator universe. Now it has even more. She downloaded more RAM. Good girl. And can support longer sessions. I guess that last round was pretty boring. Oh, too fast. Oh, mind you, like, what happened to the voice acting? Uh, this part is specifically made for you. I hope you have lots of fun. Yeah, I love fun games. Not as good as getting rewards in real life. I don't trust you people's definition of fun. Not as good as getting rewards. You said I was going to get a reward. Oh, that's for sure. After all, you're going to be spending more on time on this project. Overall, this is a long scheduled version update with longer gameplay, more content, better rewards, and more bizarre difficulty curve. So get ready, prepare to get back to the simulated universe beta test. I will help you out more. Oi, hey, what is what is this? This looks weird. Ah, oh, she's actually part of the team now. Am I going to get put on some sort of list for this being on my screen? Data bank. Uh, okay, Supreme Position increases whereas ultimate damage by 28%. Nice. Mission. Oh, I got a lot of stuff for that. Aside from completing trail-based missions to progress the storyline, other missions can be encountered in the exploration. After exploring certain areas in depth, adventure missions can be received from people there. Uh, so you become more familiar with different worlds. Completing certain missions allows, in allows you to invite companions that you meet in your journey onto the Astral Express. Aside from that, you can also complete daily missions to obtain corresponding rewards. Yep. Keep me playing. Keep me on that treadmill. Keep me going. Milk me dry. Take all my money. You're not getting any of my money. Alright. Auto battle. Use auto battle to cast abilities fight automatically. However, auto battle cannot be used in some special combat situations. 2x speed. Use 2x speed to experience quicker battles. However, 2x speed cannot be used in some special combat situations. Alright, and it feels like the auto battle is actually dumb. I think I've mentioned that a couple of times anyway. Alright, achievements. So you gotta click the achievements because you gotta get all the stuff. More jade. More jade. There's one here. More jade. Thank you very much. Cool. Travel log. Day three. Oh no, that's right. I played. I, when I started playing. And when I finished playing my session, 
I was playing during the reset. Ooh, we get a pool. Ten star rail passes. Alright. I'm going to save up as many as I can. It's going to take a hell of a lot of um, discipline. Alright, well, I guess you can have that. We should probably dump some stuff into... Uh, maybe a bit later. Alright, uh, so does this work now? No. Alright, we have to leave the office. It's getting late. Where to now? Teleport function. Open navigation. Ah, cool. Supply zone. Space anchor. Teleport. Cool. Alrighty. This break? It does. What's this? Hey, um, it's me. I got your number without asking. That's not very good. Are you still at the space station? That depends on what it is that you want. The station is launching a program called Project Revival. If you had time, I'd like to ask you for some help. Uh, phone credits for this month are running out. This could be the last message. Come, I'll be waiting. Accepted mission road for revival. Oh, okay. There's Jade involved. Alright, maybe. We'll see what happens. Can I break this? I can. Sweet. Find someone to talk to and tell Himiko your decision. Find someone to talk to and tell Himiko your decision. What? Yep, cool. Give me the jade. Thank you very much. All right. So, have you thought things through? Ah. Uh, I want to join the express. Then come with me. Why the fuck not? The way <laughs> to celebrate. Let's go. I'll be waiting. <sighs> Time to get on. Till we make it. Oh. Journey. Okay. Hey, you over there looking dumbfounded. Yes, Pom Pom's talking to you. It's another Paimon. Himiko told Pom Pom about your situation. Now listen up. Pom Pom will only say this once. Pom Pom's sure there have been lots of people telling you how special you are lately. But this is the Astral Express. And everyone on here has their secrets. Since you chose to board, you can abide by the rules. You're not the only special one here. You'd best remember that. But I'm a I'm Pom Pom, the conductor. Just come find me if you have any trouble. I am the snowflake, not you. Uh, complete operational briefing according to instructions to obtain rewards. Okay, that's another one. Another mechanic or another system. Oh, okay. So this is like the travel thingy. Is that what it was called in Genshin? I can't remember now. Travel place. I don't mind the song, um, uh, but it's looping. What's this? Synthesizer. What's this? Himiko likes using the phonograph a lot. She says it can play melodies from the past. Ah, well, I can turn it collecting off. these jet black discs. It seems like they could be antiques. 
He'd be very happy if you could bring a few back. Ah. Phonograph changed music when on the express. Exploring various worlds, so it's more collectibles. Alright. So what we listened to just then was Take the Journey. Yeah, it's a minute long. These are kind of, these are kind of short. 42 seconds. I, uh, yeah. I, I have... I have no opinion. I'm too stupid. Uh, what else have we got? Any shinies? Uh, should we strike up a conversation? I think we might. Can I go in here? Nope. Alright. What do you think? Does the Astral Express look the same as you imagined? Uh, I feel like it's missing something. March said something like that at first, too. Seems like you young people have similar tastes. Oh, right. March and Don Hung should both be in their rooms right now. You can go look for them. You youngsters should get along well. What do you mean, youngsters? Uh, are their rooms fun? That's a weird question to ask. We but, usually yeah. meet up here, but our personal cabins are in the next carriage. Also, don't mind Pom Pom's antics. They're actually pretty interested in you. It's just that we haven't had new passengers on the express for a long while. All right, I won't steal Pom Pom's thunder. If you have any questions, just go ask our conductor. I asked the conductor why I'm here and what the hell's going on. Am I going to get an answer? Welt. This is a guy that's supposed to be like one of the best or something. Oh, it's you. How do you feel? With my hands. Killer headache. Very tasteful. Wait, what? How do you feel? How do I feel? I feel very tasteful. Is is that a mistranslation? Maybe. Let's see what it says. Tasteful. Oh, you mean the train. I was uh, asking how you felt physically. With my hands. You are right, though. Looking at the interior decoration, you can tell trailblazers have quite good taste. In any case, I have to thank you for saving March. Oh, he's at the pimp cane. That's right. Uh, you guys saved me, too. Oh, that's a fair statement to make. I couldn't just stand by and watch. Well... Yeah, I didn't think too much about it. Yeah. <laughs> All I did was calm that thing inside you down temporarily. I don't want to frighten you, but the truth is you won't ever be in the clear while it's still inside your body. However, as long as the Stellaron is still in your body, you should be careful what you do. I don't know if Himiko and I can suppress it again. But I won't bore you any longer. So much happened at the space station, you must be tired. There should be some time until the next warp jump, so feel free to walk around and familiarize yourself with the environment. You don't want to bore me after telling me that there is something inside my body that will cause a massive universe explosion roger that here already hmm i was just engaged how can i help where's march's room dan's room is that a phonograph where he said that uh, all right take the oh? why are you interested in her room ah oh, pom pom remembers himiko saying that you saved her that's a good excuse. Mm, very brave. Very foolhardy. But that is what a trailblazer should be like. March 7th's room is in the express sleeper compartment. She's always running around, so she might not be there. Don Hong's room? Oh, you mean the archives. Uh, he's just sort of living in there, I guess. I can't be bothered getting him out. March 7th's room is right next to the archives. You can visit him on the way. Cool, totally. 
All right, I already know that's a phonograph. Pom Pom still needs to prepare for the Express's warp jump. You can look around the place yourself. No matter where you go on this train, Pom Pom will always have my eyes on you. Yeah, okay. Cool. All right. Passenger cabin. That's a picture of a bird. And there's a tiny little horse figurine on the desk. Anyway. Can I open this door? Nope. Alright, so... Oh, okay. There seems to be the sound of electronic equipment. My character's talking. Hmm? Who's there? Yeah, I haven't even knocked. How did the fuck did you know I was there? I learned to sense incoming visitors after people kept barging in so frequently. Well, allow me to barge in. Oh, you know what that reminds me of? Very, very long time ago when I was a tiny little boy and Command & Conquer Red Alert first came out. Uh, my pop bought me Command & Conquer Red Alert as well as this space um, encyclopedia thing that was um, on Windows. And it had a map like this where you could um, play around with the planets and all that kind of shit. It looks exactly like that. Can I help you? Feel free. This is open to everyone on the Express. While many of the roads that Akivili traveled along no longer exist, I think it's still meaningful to record our adventures as current passengers of the Express. I enter the collected data into the Archives databank. I try to catalog the people and places the Express encounters, and compare and contrast them with the existing records. Do you see the terminal over there? It can be used to view information already stored in the databank. Do give it a go. Dude just straight up brought his mattress in here. Look at that floor. God, that'd be trippy. Databank stores various information collected during trailblazing expeditions across the universe. Open the character screen. View the character details. In the Artibank, you can view each character's story and voice lines. Voice. Oh god, look at it all. Story. Character details. Okay. Uh, I'm not there. Alright, so I'm guessing... Four stars and five stars. So we want five stars. So I'm seeing a lot of people say that Sailor is pretty good. Uh, resident of the underworld. Ooh. And Welt. Welt's supposed to be fantastic as well. Alright, well... My first thought is, God, that's a lot of money you have to sink. <laughs> but anyway. Alright, cool. Moving on. You knock, but there's no response. The door is unlocked. Should I go in? I don't know, man. Just a little bit. Just one look should be fine. Right? Right. Oh, it's pink. Dressing mirror. Full length mirror with frosted glass. It may have some some kind of hidden meaning. No. Uh alright, we'll go this way. Wall of photos. Make a choice I won't regret. Reach the future. So much had happened in such a short time. True. Rest area. Bunny shaped lounge chair and a teddy bear sitting sitting in a fitting metaphor for their conflicted owner. Alright, the door's closed. Uh, bed and Pom Pom's toy. Where it was Pom Pom's toy? Conductor Pom Pom's doll. You have no idea where they found it. Bed. March says bed. Intuition tells you that you should be should that it should be comfier than Dan Hanks. Well of course. 
It's off the ground. Computer station on the table comes pre-installed with the IPC idle operating system. This OS might just cost more than the whole computer system. If you say so. Any other shiny shinies? Six degrees. Nice. Should be on the other side. No? Okay. Ahem. Hi. Hello. Attention all passengers. Attention all passengers. The express is about to conduct a warp jump. All passengers, please gather at the main hall. I repeat. The express is about to conduct a warp jump. All passengers, Please gather at the main hall. Door doesn't even move an inch, as if it's glued into glued in space. Space. The door is locked, but there is particular scent of coffee coming out of the room. Oh man, gimme, gimme! And there's whales as whales and fishies as lights on the roof. It's a nice touch. Oh, you're here. Uh, there you are. Wait, this is your first trip. So that should be double the excitement, right? Um. No. That's the spirit. <laughs> I was excited the first time I experienced a warp jump too. But I'm used to it now. Don't worry, you'll get used to it too. And before you know it, you'll be a mature and dependable passenger just like me. Yes. The first step totally. is to grab a hold of the root cause of your anxiety. Oh god, here we go. You can't just grab something like that. Well, it is a little abstract, but basically you just need to pinpoint what's bothering you. Life. The second step is Money. to focus all your anxiety on that point. is some sort of mumbo jumbo about transferring consciousness. This is science. Don't get distracted. <sighs> Focus. Now for step three. Yank out that anxiety and cast it away with all your might. Psychological suggestion. That doesn't mean it won't work. The best method for relieving anxiety is the one that works, right? Alright, so you're here, you're here. Okay. Are you following me? You are. Where are you? Oh, no, you're not. That would have been cool, but no. Alright, let's go. Enough fucking around. <sighs> you took long enough, but at least everyone's here now. You guys told me to go and talk to people. Yeah, where is he? He won't be here, so just leave him be. Okay. Oh, yeah, take these. A tiny bonus from the conductor to the passenger. Think of it as an investment in your future growth. Tiny bonus, little gift. Oh, okay. What's this? XP and money. Cool. Oh, more. Oh, even more. Oh, and some more. Oh, this is... What is this for? Why am I getting all this? Ah, trailblazer level. Okay. Alright, well, there you go. Okay, everyone. Hurry up and find a place to sit down. Try not to be like March. Always running around the express like a headless chicken. Shouldn't call people out like that, man. Tom's going to start the final preparations for the jump. Today is yesterday's tomorrow. Friends, that's a feature. <laughs> Add friends, receive support, and challenge strong enemies. Oh, we will, we will be, we will be playing this solo. I have no friends. Open the friends screen. Add friends via system recommendation or by searching with UID. View the friends you've added on the friends screen. Yep, and it'll stay like that forever. All right, achievements. Get some free shit. 20 jade. Oh, that's alright. Tutorials. Oh, yep. Yeah. 
So level reward, tra trailblaze level increases, you claim corresponding rewards from Pom Pom, yeah. Same sort of system as the other ones. Not saying like, it's not saying it like it's a bad thing or anything, but yeah. The similarities is pretty good. Are you ready to move on to the next planet? Sure. Why not? That's a the whale. Universe. The Astral Express. Eons. <sighs> Did I get dragged into a science fiction movie or something? This Stellaron thing in my body? Hey, yeah. Stars? <laughs> <sighs> I've done stuff like that before. But it wasn't stars for me, though. It was lights. When I first woke up after being rescued from the ice, I could see clusters of stars in front of me. I reached out for them automatically, but they turned out to be the carriage ceiling lights. The whole crew was watching me. It was pretty embarrassing. Rescued from the ice. The whole crew. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Before all this, I was stuck in a huge block of ice drifting through space. Yeah, Mako totally. and Mr. Yang and... Who was it again? Anyway, they figured out a way to melt the ice and saved me. Who knows? I don't remember anything before that. Who I am, where I'm from, my name. It's like everything was erased from my mind. March 7th was the day they found me, so it stuck. Ever since then, I've been hanging out on this train and following it to whatever destination it decides to stop at. I'm hoping that one day, I can find my past. Uh, what am I talking about this for? A way to get everyone down, huh? <laughs> my character's just deadpan like, What? And completely it's mute fine. now. I was the one who brought it up. You did. Uh, <laughs> cheer up! It's not every day someone gets to ride on the Astral Express. Ah, here comes the conductor. The Express has reached a safe distance from the space station. We'll be jumping in about ten minutes. Return to your seats, please. Both of you! Things could get bumpy. Uh, thanks, Pom Pom. But did you really have to come and remind me? I'm not a newbie, you know. Well, it wouldn't be necessary, but Miss March 7th likes to challenge herself. And falls over every time. That's just called never giving up. <laughs> Conductor, can I get a juice, please? Thank you. Uh, we're jumping in five minutes. You can have something to drink when it's over. But I'm thirsty now. What? I'm not used to all this cutesy shit. Genshin, in Genshin Impact was a bit hard to uh, play with that kind of stuff. Energy. Jumps are like this. They may feel novel the first few times, but you'll slowly get used to them after a few more. As for the mechanism, well, if you're interested, I'll explain it to you in detail when we have more time. For now, just sit and wait. Remember to close your eyes. It helps with the dizziness. Okay. Our next stop is a small planet called Eurelo 6. It's been thousands of years since the last time the Express paid a visit. The databank shows it was a lush and beautiful place. So it'll be the opposite. But after all this time, it's possible that dramatic changes have occurred. Well, a thousand years. I would, I would think so. I don't think I can use that orb thing yet, so... Right. Oh, don't worry about me. I just want to see if I can stay on my feet this time. <laughs> Rooting for you. Yeah, okay. Don't hurt yourself. Why do you make things so hard for yourself? Uh, don't hurt it's yourself. It's fine. I'm sturdier than I look. 
Besides, the ice will protect me. Well, she is quite sturdy. When I'm in danger, I instinctively create ice to protect myself. Though, sometimes falling on the ice actually hurts more than falling on the ground. Well, don't mind me. Find a place to sit down and buckle up. Uh, I see the absence of straps to buckle up to, but okay. Very comfortable sofa. Feels like you're forward to sleep after sitting on it. Uh, well, that's it, isn't it? Hold on tight and wait for the jump to finish. Hello? Hello, hello? <clears throat> All passengers, please return to your seats. The train is about to make the jump. Hold on, everyone. I won't fall over. I won't fall over. I won't fall over. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Bloop. Those millennia. Is this what Eurelo 6 has become? Uh huh. So that snowy planet is our destination this time? Yes. Looks like this trailblazing expedition won't be easy. Oh, spatial readout anomaly. Star rail stability is down to 12%. Schedule alteration. Seven-day stop over time extended indefinitely. Anomaly. I'm still mute. Hmm. The complex locality of this world has been affected somehow. The star rail has been blocked off by something. Take an ordinary train as an example. It's like the tracks up ahead have suddenly snapped, and the way forward leads straight into a collapsing abyss. The safe. only sensible thing to do would be to break hard, right? If we try to force our way ahead, there could be a hefty price to pay. This again? Don't tell me. It's gotta be. The results of the preliminary analysis are here. The anomaly stems from a stellar run, as always. Still me? Yes, just like the one that's been placed into your body. Yeah, what is this? What is this thing? Stellarons are clouded in mystery. Even Herda isn't able to fully understand them. But there's no need to worry. This isn't the first time our route has been obstructed by a Stellaron. Even if we don't know much about them, at least we know how to neutralize their influences. The only thing we can say for sure is that their arrival causes massive changes to civilizations and ecosystems. They also generate distortions in space, such as fragmentums. There must be an inextricable connection between the Stellaron we're dealing with here and Eurelo 6 becoming a frozen planet. Our current theory is that Stellarons are seeds of disaster, planted by a certain eon throughout the universe. We can't continue to trailblaze without removing the source of the disaster. Hmm. A chivalrous band of cosmic knights. Yeah, okay. Right! You finally get what we're all about. Pretty cool, huh? Totally cool, bro. I'd like to entrust this trailblazing expedition to March, Dan Hung, and you. The objective is clear. Find the Stellaron responsible for the disaster and the spatial distortions and bring it back to the Express. We'll deal with the rest. Go do the dirty work. Awesome. We get to work as a team again. Yeah, well, your your icy arrows do come in handy. Kind of sleepy. Why else? You're not coming. I haven't pulled her from the deck, so I can't. Someone has to stay on the train, or Pom Pom will get lonely. Yeah, totally. not to mention Nanook threw us a glance just now. If we're targeted by the Antimatter Legion, then things could go south fast. So it's still not our turn. I know you really want to go, but 
we should give the youngsters a chance to get out there on their own. It'll be a good opportunity for them to bond. Himiko and Welter are gonna March, stay behind and ready, bond. Why not go and find Dan Hung? He's probably already started collating the ecological data and survey results for your Relo 6. It's always good to know more about the destination before you start a journey. A grand cool adventure. Totes bro. Alright. Hey, something's wrong. Oh, there we go. Each stop brings its own grand and exciting adventure. <sighs> no. no Pom -pom can't leave the train right now. I don't think pom pom mm. pom pom pom. So dejected all of a sudden. I'm talking. Why? Why? Why am I talking? Why do I have a voice and talking out here, but not anywhere else? This is weird. How's my trailblazer level? Okay. Long wait for the blade's edge. Okay, so that's a story thing. Uh, I just gonna go for it. Are you doing okay after your first jump? Dizziness or retching are normal reactions. Retching. You'll feel better once you get used to it. Why aren't you with everyone else? I enjoy being alone. Especially when I have important work to do. I, I, I agree. I went through the Express's database, and it seems the environment on Urelo 6 has undergone drastic changes in the past few centuries. It was not a frozen planet to begin with. No fucking way. He said so? Hmm. Considering the spatial obstacles that the Star Rail has encountered, it's highly possible. I've conducted a preliminary survey and found that there's one area with a relatively normal temperature on the surface of the planet. By normal, I mean a temperature that just about allows for human survival. If I had to choose a site for initial investigation on this trailblazing expedition, that would be it. Uh, as I expected. Before you came, whenever March wanted to go anywhere, Himiko would make Mr. Yang and me go with her. And even after you arrived, I didn't suppose I'd be the one to be... Liberated of that duty. Hey man, you gave me welt and I you're assume gone. the trailblazing objective this time is to find the Stellaron on Urelo 6 and dispel the effect it's exerting on the Star Rail. Right? I see. You should find March. I'll join you two once I'm ready. Yeah, I'm more than happy to replace you, dude, but I just need someone. Did you talk to oh, Don Hung? How'd it go? <laughs> Full of enthusiasm. Really? I find that hard to believe. It's called Relax. sarcasm. Don Hung and I are experienced trailblazers. We got your back. Well, are you ready? When sure. I first saw this planet, I thought a world covered in ice. Could it have something to do with my past? Now I can't stop thinking about it. Still, the ice that trapped me was six-phased ice, a very rare substance. I don't think you can find it on your average planet. Uh, we won't know unless we have a look for ourselves. This might actually be your home world. Uh, I wouldn't say that. I'm mute again. To be honest, I think I'd be kind of annoyed if I found out this was my home world. It looks freezing. Pretty girls aren't frost resistant. <laughs> What? Is there something on my face? Oh, he likes. Nah, she likes him. I was just imagining all the fun we're going to have here. Oh, yeah. <sighs> I feel sorry for this world. First the Stellaron, and now you. That's harsh, dude. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hmm. All right. Here comes the Urelo 6 Trailblaze team. Who are you looking at?
Eurilo 6. We're here. Wow. This is dreary as <sighs> fuck. There really is one big snowball. That's exactly what she just said. What? Uh, it doesn't feel that cold. Well, copy if you're still in a skirt. Well, the trailblaze path grants us faint power. It allows us to better adapt to harsh environments. <sighs> Snow as far as the eye can see. Which direction should we take? Based on the coordinates, the target should be up ahead. How convenient. And then what are we waiting for? Let's go! Why didn't we land at the destination? Yeah, hmm. good point. Do you want to mention the time we smashed a hole through Taikian Stadium? Or shall I? Yeah. Oh, please stop bringing that up. Let's just say that landings and crowds don't mix. Unless you enjoy trailblazing through two weeks of community service. I said drop it! Remember, we should stay vigilant. We know very little about this world. Calm down. Between the three of us, nothing will stand in our way. Mm-hmm. I mean, come on. You've got a Stellaron in your body. I have my special six-phase dice powers. And Don Hung... Uh... He's got that mysterious past thing going for him. So if people start creating trouble for us, they're gonna regret it. Let's just make sure we're not creating the trouble. Yeah. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> let's go. Braving the unknown? That's the real spirit of trailblazing. Okay. Now we go backwards. G. Navigation. Thanks to the navigation system of the Astral Express, you can travel between different worlds and areas. The worlds that you have been to will be marked on the Star Rail map. Roger that. Alright, she's level 1. Hold on, let's have a look at our team. So I've got her. So, I could drop you, Dan, if you don't want to be here, if you're going to be like that. Actually, I will do that. Oh, no, you. There. Add. Alright, and we probably need to level her up just a little bit. What's auto do? 18. 3. 4. Five, six, that'll do. Alright, she's got one of those as well, which is cool. Alright, we'll see how we go with these guys. Um, I didn't want to dump too many into it um, just yet, just in case we this do some pulls. still hasn't been corroded. Oh my god. Yet fragmentum monsters have already made it here. I fear the Stellaron may be exerting a significant influence on this world. for the main event. Oh, you look interesting. All right, what do we got? Blast. Your no weakness. Blast. All right. Turn up the volume. She has a guitar. Holy shit. <sighs> Time to twirl. What is that? I have to look that up. All right, you are weak to that. All right, we'll do a blast. Take this. What are you looking at? AOE, single target. You are ice. Time to twirl. Interesting. This song's just for you. I want to see blast just because. Of, oh, we did do blast, didn't we? Let's rock. Couldn't have done it without me. Uh, I disagree. The guitar carried us the entire way through. Um, I didn't actually upgrade her either, did I? Nope. Alright. 
we'll get her up to... Do you have a thing? We do. Where is ultimate damage? Equip. Oh, it's on Herter as well. Alright. Um, that's fine. Alright, we'll see how we get with that. Oh, okay. Calyx teleportation. Strange object seems out of place in the snow plains. It does. Maybe Mr. Yang will know what it is. Let's send a message to ask him. Strange enemy born from the bottom of space, space distortion. There are some... There are some reality data. Hey, slow down, buddy. There's some reality data in there. Calyx says might come in handy. But please be careful when coming in contact with them. The existence of these is still a mystery to us and the danger up within is incalculable. In your coming in your coming journey you might come across others like this. The reality data saw a different side, so look out for that. Look at that. Defeat enemies to obtain general materials. Okay, we have another thing. These game modes cost Trailblaze power. Oh, this is like fucking resin and fatigue and stamina and insert another random currency to keep you confused. Trailblaze power recovers over time, of course. Alright, uh. Teleport? Why not? Current team is too underpowered. Level 16 and 16. Oh, okay. Alright, well, we won't be doing that then. That's fine. What's this? Another tutorial. Yep, cool. Thank you. More jade. Awesome. And. Hi. Beep! Nice. <laughs> Time for the main event. Turn up! Volume. You have the worst luck running into me. Okay. Watch this. Time to twirl. Let's go. So she must hit. Does she hit in addition? Like if I hit something that has a weakness, she hits as well. <laughs> That's what I'm reading. Time to twirl. I haven't actually seen the tooltips yet, so I'm only guessing. All right, AoE. Maybe you can keep it. Just for you. Uh, I won't burn the ultis on <laughs> this one. I was debating in my head whether or not I should do it because I just want to see what it looks like. Uh, I can't control the camera now. Oh, there we go. Was that necessary? <laughs> hey, get out of there or you'll shiver to death. Holding your breath won't help. I got this, March. Uh, someone's got their head stuck in the sand. Or the snow, in this case. They just need a helping hand. You're out! My fine fellow, was that really necessary? Is crawling around in the snow a crime these days? I mean, come on, surely. It doesn't warrant a spearing. But then again, how can I blame you? I mean, I caught you off guard. It, it had to happen. You could even say I deserved it, huh? Besides, I made a gallant group of new friends as a result. <laughs> Is Captain Jepard around? Uh, he, he's an old buddy of mine. Who? Wait, you're not Silvermane Guards? Well, why didn't you say so? Turns out we're on the same side after all. Pleasure to meet you. The name's Sampo Koski. 
And I'm excellent. Mute. I'll remember the name. Never thought I'd run into friends from the same line of work out here in this frozen wasteland. <sighs> Business is bad these days, but fear not. Sampo Koski isn't interested in hoarding. There's more than enough treasure to go around, so let's get rich together. <laughs> that sounds good. Say, why don't we join forces? I have reliable intel. The main strength of the Silvermane Guards is being deployed to the front line. This is a golden opportunity. Hmm. Good questions. What are the Silvermane? Come now, friends. I can understand the mistrust, but there's no need for the charade. Then again, I know the rules. Vigilance is the name of the game in our profession. It's my fault for letting my enthusiasm and sincerity get the better of me. Anyway, a meeting like this has to have been written in the stars. Ask me anything you like. I won't skimp on the details. Still make it snappy. You're never more than 10 feet from a Silvermane guard. Why were you hiding me? in the snow? You guys scared me to death. There I was, looking for relics to sell, when all of a sudden you came stomping over. I thought the Silvermane guards were paying me a visit. Seriously, though? Try treading a little lighter next time, huh? If you run into the guards, they won't hide in a snowdrift, and you'll be in a cell before you know it. Settlement? What a literary turn of phrase. Why, there's only one place in this world where the living still reside. Our beloved Bellabog. The further away you get, the dicier things become. The city of preservation, the towering citadel, humanity's last bastion against the eternal freeze. It may sound a bit over the top, but those names are grounded in truth. The only place humans can eke out an existence is behind those impregnable walls. Yeah, like Frostpunk. I have no idea who the Silvermane guards even are. You really don't know? The Silvermane Guards are Bellabog soldiers, enforcers, and police. Let's just say they're not the most flexible of people. And they like paying visits to folks in our line of work. What are you on about, sir? Is that Seems a bomb? Seems like you guys really are new to the business. That looks like a bomb. <laughs> to be young and naive again. How about this? As a senior in the field, which I'm sure you don't mind me saying, I'll give you some free guidance. There are ways of doing things in this profession, and you better get familiar with them. Moving in the shadows, finding the goods, pricing your stock, hiding from the guards. There's an art to all of it. No need. Why don't you just take us to the city? We don't really know the way. The city? Already? They haven't even started trading yet. Well, showing you the way is easy enough, Missy, but it would cost... But it would be my pleasure. Kindness is Sampo Koski's middle name. Follow me, friends, and uh, keep quiet. We don't want to be spotted by the guards. He has no fucking idea we are not so from here. So why were you hiding from the Silvermane guards? Yeah, I was just storing a few relics away from prying eyes. Nothing serious. <laughs> if it weren't for the uncompromising nature of our civil oh. service, there'd be no need for secrecy. So, where about you guys from, anyway? I don't mean land. to cry or anything, I just care about my friends. No pressure. Hmm. Oh, there's a spiky thing. Space anchor. Where'd you go? Come on, idiot, let's go. Rule number seven, never leave a footprint. I have my own special technique called invisible snow walking. Helps me throw off pursuers in no, no time. Uh, here we go. Who are they? Uh, you remember the Silvermane guards I mentioned? That's them. Help me, old friends. I don't want to be caught. It's the suspect and his accomplices. Arrest them! 
So we're gonna fight. Battle start one or two. Over to you, dear friends. Hey, where do you think you're? Hmm. Do you want to burn an ulti? Maybe. We'll see how strong they are. Keep up. My tempo. My turn. Oh, he's resistant. Let's go. Take this. Time to twirl. have any strength against this guy at all, so... Watch this! Bleed damage. Interesting. Alright. <laughs> He's gonna hit next. We... Oh, we'll burn all the ultis in the next one. yourself fight it or rock with it my music conquer us all yeah okay not bad keep up my tempo gotta try hard sometimes check out this awesome move <laughs> time to twirl Nice. I told you I could fight. All right, what's this Do thing? you know who I am? <laughs> Ever see a diamond this big? <gasps> All yours. Time to twirl. Huh. My turn. No, nope, not yet. Rules are made to be broken. Who's gonna ulti him down? Fuck it. <laughs> Oops. I, Japard Landau, captain of the Silver Main Guards, order you to relinquish your futile resistance. Ugh, that Sampo cheated us all. Party? Wait till I get my hands on him. Hmm. Suspect, relinquish your resistance. Suck it, dear. Uh, so I'm a criminal, huh? Forget uh, Sampo. Wait until I get my hands on you. Should probably put a defense on you because you're a. Critical. Stay right there while I give you a present. You can blast. You must be honored to meet me. <laughs> Try that again. Stay focused. Take courage. You can't run! Hmm. Alright, so you're being targeted. Okay. We'll continue with the blast. Up. My tempo. I told you I could fight. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. She's gonna get targeted. She's still got shield on her, but it's probably not gonna be enough. He's probably just gonna keep calling more, isn't he? Try that again. Time to twirl. You're annoying. You can't run. Time to 
You didn't block that one that time, did you, mate? No, you did not. Turn up the volume. <laughs> you have the worst luck running into me. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music conquers all. <laughs> kind of doesn't love. My turn. All right. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. Time to twirl. <laughs> oh, one health. Do you know who I am? <laughs> Ever see a diamond this big? Oh, she's out. Pretty good crowd today. Really? <laughs> this ends here. Damn. Oh. The prime suspect? The one with the blue hair? Apologies, Captain. We lost him during the pursuit. We can't find his footprints. <sighs> no matter. We have his accomplices. He'll be close by, plotting his next move. Yeah, we'd never team up with someone like him. I'm not trying to talk our way out of this, but we're not friends with that scoundrel. Did you see how fast he ditched us? We rescued him from the snow out of the kindness of our hearts. We had no idea he might be using us to get past you. Are you really dumb enough to fall for his... I'm a captain, not an adjudication panel. As a Bellabog citizen, you have the right to defend yourself, but that can only take place under the scrutiny of the architects, not now. Take them away. Didn't think to say that you're but not. Oh, here we go. Show him the photos, March. What photos? Photos? Ah, oh, you're a genius! Great idea! You've probably never seen what your planet looks like, right? I took this one. Behold! Yarilo 6! You mean to say that this white ball that's here, <laughs> that's our home? How can that... Hmm. It is said that a long time ago, strange visitors from beyond the sky would visit us here. But that after the eternal freeze, the blizzards made passage impossible. And Bellabog would cease to witness such arrivals. But these people are... This decision is beyond us. If what they say is true, then only the Supreme Guardian may decide their fate. Supreme Leader. Our job is to present them before her. Nothing more. Outsiders, follow me. Bellabog lies beyond this blizzard. Yep, just kill a couple of guards and be like, oh, Welcome sorry. Welcome to Bellabog, the city of preservation. Frostpunk. Yep. Kinda looks like it. It's a circle. Oh, we won't have to sacrifice kids to coal mines though. That actually looks pretty cool. Hey, it feels like it got a bit warmer. That's because you're in Bellabog, the last bastion of humanity. Last bastion? <laughs> 700 years ago, monsters from beyond the sky set the world ablaze. 
the land was turned to scorched earth, with raging infernos and billowing towers of smoke stretching beyond the horizon. In the midst of the conflict, the eternal freeze descended without warning. Suddenly, sweeping winds brought blizzards which buried the invading legion. Bellabog was all that remained. The steadfast architects built this city. Under the protection of Klepoth, the preservation, Bellabog remains forever warm in the face of unrelenting cold. He's sure saying some weird stuff. Right. Marked change in tone. Sounds like he's quoting from a historical record. Uh-huh. So why is he telling us all this? You wanted to know. Uh... <laughs> Idiot. Adorable, but you're an idiot. Have a winter night. Alright. Cool. Kid we saw strange creatures outside the city. They must have come from a Terran corroded space. A fragmentum, correct? How do you. That's right. Out there in the blizzard, there are still many threats, including the monsters you saw. Yeah, the monsters, the silver your guards. main guards are continuously engaged with the enemy, but I'm afraid the situation is bleak. After your meeting with the Supreme Guardian, I would like to consult you on this matter. We're lacking in intel. We're here. Yes, we are. This is Klepoth Fort, the heart of Bellabog and headquarters of the Architects. Klepoth. Never in a million years would I have gotten that pronunciation from that word with the way it looks. There's a Q and there's no U. But yeah, okay. I'm still mute. Klepoth is the symbol of preservation. Under Klepoth's impulsion, the Architects constructed Bellabog. Thus protecting the spark of civilization from disaster and the eternal freeze. To show our reverence, we named this fortress after the Eon themselves. The architects, under the protection of Klepoth, have continued to lead this city forward, repelling all manner of disasters. This fortress is also the residence of the Supreme Guardian. That looks so cool. The Supreme Guardian? The leader of Bellabog. Elected and appointed by the Architects. The Supreme Guardians have watched over this city for generations, sheltering the people from harm. The current Guardian is Madame Kakolia Rand. Every major strategic decision is issued by her. Coca-Cola. Whoa, she sounds like a big deal. I will now bring you to see Madame Kakolia. Please, have your words at the ready. Her time is precious, so she prefers concise communication. Indeed. Uh right now? Can I at least find a place to freshen up first? Ooh. Rest easy. The Madam Guardian doesn't care about formalities. Not to mention, you've only just arrived. It would be unexpected if you were familiar with Bellabog customs. I've dispatched a messenger to send word. Madam Kokolia will be aware of your arrival. Come with me. I wonder if I could have beaten that fight. But that's a meaningless sacrifice. How can you... <clears throat> you may leave, Branya. Visitors have arrived. That's uh, <sighs> another gene. Yes, Mother. Ooh. Madam Guardian, I have brought three outsiders to see you. The messenger informed me. Well done, Jupard. You may leave. I like his cape. Welcome, visitors from beyond the Eternal Freeze. Or perhaps I should say, from beyond the sky, no? <laughs> I am Kakolia Rand, Bellabog's Supreme Guardian. I would be grateful if you could tell me why you have come. So you don't doubt her identity. Yeah, because she said from the sky. 
still mute. Do you wish me to doubt it? Or perhaps you're not confident in that identity yourself? <laughs> no, I do not doubt it. I can see that you are not from this world. The architects remember the history well, else we should forget it. I know that in the distant past, before the Eternal Freeze descended or the Legion invaded, this world was once prosperous beyond measure. An eon connected our planet to other worlds, and we discovered the endless possibilities of the boundless universe. We also came to know of Klopoth, the Amber Lord. Under their attentive gaze, we built the city walls. So do not be surprised. For 700 years, the Architects have received no further communication from the stars. But I knew of your existence. Tell me why you have come. Hmm. We've come to trailblaze this planet. That sounds... That sounds bad. We want to help you. Yeah. We came here for something known as a Stellaron. A Stellaron? Objects that fell from the blue on separate worlds. Their appearance spelled disaster. Many of the planets we visited have suffered their effects. You mentioned invasion by the Antimatter Legion. Soon after their arrival, this planet suffered the Eternal Freeze. At the same time, the phenomenon known as Fragmentum Space Corrosion began to occur. Correct? Correct. The Stellarons were cast by the Aeon of Destruction. The Eternal Freeze is a product of the Stellaron. Fragmentums are products of the Stellaron. Uh, it looks like they're all viable. We'll just go for the top one. And I'm still mute. Which is why the Antimatter Legion and Stellarons often show up together. Worlds seeded with Stellarons give birth to Fragmentums. As for the Eternal Freeze, it must have been a product of the Stellaron, unique to the environment of your world. You can see us as kind-hearted interstellar public servants, lending a helping hand to any world affected by a Stellaron. <laughs> Your analysis of our current circumstances is clear. We have indeed suffered the disasters you speak of, some of which prove vexatious to us even today. But why should you care? Don't mention the facts. Even vex, if this Stellaron you. you speak of did bring about disaster, I fail to see its connection to you. I don't believe that anyone would go to such lengths to help a world unrelated to them. Unless they had something to gain. Clever girl. You're right. Our reason for coming here is not purely selfless. If we don't seal the Stellaron, we cannot leave this planet. Uh, please let us help you. Well, she already knows that we're not there to really help them. It's to help themselves. Please help us locate the Stellaron. If we can get rid of it, your world will be safer too. You know how to seal the Stellaron. We have the relevant means. Very well, I believe you. If our present situation is truly the result of this so-called Stellaron, then your arrival is the hope that Bellabog has waited 700 years for. I am willing to assist you in any way possible to help you locate the Stellaron. That was too easy. It's getting late, and you must be tired. I will arrange for you to stay in our most comfortable hotel. Rest there and get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow at noon, I will dispatch someone to escort you here. And we can discuss this urgent matter in greater detail. I like that realism. Lunchtime. Because I'll sleep all the way up until lunchtime. That's, that's good. It should be me thanking you, visitors from beyond the sky. I too need some time. I will go over our records for anything that may be connected to Stellarons. Please excuse me for not escorting you further. Sinister. Oh, 
Of course, I understand. She's being manipulated by the Do not worry. I have a way. That was too easy. She's being manipulated. This is a free-to-play game, by the way. It seems that the Supreme Guardian holds you in high regard. I have received orders that your movements are no longer to be restricted. An impressive figure. Yeah, she does have an impressive figure. She's the big shot! Definitely got that Queen of the Castle vibe going on. Oh, so cool! <laughs> I'm afraid I still have duties to attend to. I must return to my post. I hope you enjoy your stay in Bellabog. Uh, wait! Can you recommend some sights? It's not that late. We want to take a look around. Well, I'd say that Golden Theater and the History Museum are both worth a look. However, you'd need a pass to get into the museum. I recommend you visit Everwinter Monument first. It's Bellabog's most symbolic landmark. And if you enjoy music, you could head to Neverwinter Workshop. You I've can sometimes that game. catch an outdoor no, performance there. The artist is. <sighs> You'll see. Oh, and if you're staying at Goethe Hotel, please avoid the alley that runs next to it. The one with Silvermane Guards stationed there. It's started to be affected by corrosion recently, so it's been sealed off. So the corrosion is inside the city. Well, that's a grave situation. Yes, we're mounting a resistance as we speak. I must leave now. I hope all goes well for you. We'll be going there very shortly. Very good. All right, um, I'm going to leave it there for now. Um, when we come back, we will continue on. But before I sign out, pick up some of this. And... Where's the thingy? Warp. What have we got? We've got 600 jades. I've got 30. And two of those. So the regular warp. The parch warp. 20% off a set of thingies for five star currency. Alright, you know what? Let's... Let's do a pull. Oh, hello. That's Welt. First pull. Fuck yeah. And hook. Nice. Wow. There's my bro. Alright, cool. There you go. I wonder if that was uh, on purpose. Alright, so I've got... Should we do another one? Yes, yeah, do another one. So we'll do the skip on this though. Alright, so... Okay, who are you? Planetary Rendezvous. Oh, it's one of those light cones, right. So what are these? That's a light cone as well. Okay. Alright. One more. Who are you? Natasha. Hello Natasha. You have a teddy bear on your back. Huh. What is that on your neck? Huh. Cool. Alright. Sweet. There you go. Bit of dopamine as well. Okay. Characters. Yep. We got Welt. We got Natasha. And Hook. 
And we, of course we get an achievement for doing a pool. Sweet. Feed the machine. Awesome. Alright, cool. Yep, I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching so far. Um, this is my coverage for Star Rail, Honkai, um, during anime, because it's May, and this is anime. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.